Okay, now let's talk about empirical probability. So empirical probability involves taking samples and using samples to estimate the theoretical probability. For instance, suppose we want to determine the probability that a person lives past the age of 85. Well, we couldn't really do that with the theoretical approach, but what we can do is collect a lot of data and people and count how many lived that long. Uh, divide by the total number of people in that study. The empirical, or otherwise known as experimental probability, is essentially the number of observed people divided by the sample size. Or put another way, number of successes divided by the number of, uh, number of attempts. So for instance, suppose you roll a die 40 times and nine of the rolls result in a five. So the empirical probability, well, nine, you had nine successes in 40 rolls, so the probability is nine out of 40, 0.225. The theoretical probability is a die has six sides, one side is a five, so the theoretical probability is one out of six. Um, you'll notice a lot of times empirical and theoretical are not going to be exact, usually, but depending on the sample size, they'll often be pretty close. Webster Aquatic Center offers various levels of swimming lessons year-round. The March 2019 Monday and Wednesday evening lessons include instructions from water babies through adults. The number in each classification is given as a table. So you see that 15 were in water babies, 12 were in tiny tots, 12 were tadpoles, 10 were adults, 49 overall. So if one participant is selected at random, find the probability the participant is in tiny tots. Well, if you want to find the probability, there are 49 total participants. 12 of them are in tiny tots. The probability is 12 out of 49, or 0.245.